Now, new at five, there is a push to clear out a homeless encampment in East Memphis. WREG's Bria Jones joins us live now from the site after talking with a couple who says this is the only home they have. Bria? Well, Greg and Steph, I want you to just take a look right behind me. This is a look at this homeless camp right now. This is underneath the I-240 flyover near Summer Avenue. Now, the people living here, they say this has been their home for at least a few a few months, at least four months. They say they have nowhere else to go. Now, I'm told at least four adults live here along with their pets. Tennessee State Senator Brent Taylor says he has been getting phone calls and complaints from drivers that pass along the area that would like to see this all cleared out. Now, he says that state law prohibits any campsites, any campsites like this on public property. He's now calling on the city to enforce the law and find shelter for those living here so that TDOT can come in and clean this all up. No, we spoke with a man living here that says this is all he has after being released from prison. Mississippi prison with no ID, no social security card, no birth certificate, nowhere. My family, my mother, my grandma, my granddaddy, everybody's dead. I have no friends, no family after 16 and a half years. Now coming up tonight at 10, hear from the senator that is now calling for the cleanup and as well as what the city has to say about all of this. Now reporting live in East Memphis, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3.